Rural Heritage on RFD TV is brought to you by Rural Heritage Magazine, a bi monthly magazine featuring articles about farming and logging with draft animal power, small scale diversified family farming and homesteading, and other aspects of our rich rural heritage. Rural Heritage Magazine, borrowing from yesterday to do the work of today. For subscription information, please call 319 362 3027 or order online at www.ruralheritage.com. Coming up, we have uh, 715 Leaf Spring Sulfy Plow, uh, 14 inch KV bottom, spring loaded uh, Calder Skimmer. Uh, from White Horse Machinery, Shipsy Farm Supply is the dealer. Uh, model 715 is an advanced plow with a um, combination of unique features, youngster designed for the tough, rocky conditions. Spring assist, easy lift, connected to both wheels, will lift plow evenly. Hands-free steering allows rear wheel to catch caster when turning and locks in rigid when plowing. Drift hitch can be adjusted horizontally with hand lever without stopping plow. Optional weights can be added for hard rocky conditions allow, allowing plow to remain stable with leaf springs and fully activated. The skimmer is designed to ensure that all surface, surface residue is completely turned under. This tool is essential for weed control, un, unwanted Regrowth when plowing sod. This model is also available with rigid beam without lift leaf spring. We have the one horse uh, tool frame coming in to, to plow now. Uh, model 100. Uh, the cost is $895 for the basic unit with a discount today. Uh, the manufacturer is one horse machinery. Uh, one horse machinery is the, is the local dealer from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Uh, the basic unit, there's also an information booth on the inside. The basic unit includes a long beam, adjustable handle with steel front wheels and axle, Real, rear swivel wheel, short beam for plow, uh, handle socket, pin hitch, uh, and chain hitch and, and 40 inch toolbar. Shown here with short plow beam on front ax axle and handle using a 10 inch Brinkley moldboard plow. Uh, the plow is not included. Uh, this is a the front end of that that piece of equipment is uh, is the the piece that you can use with a lot of different attachments. Uh, you can put a cultivator, uh, just put a little wheel on, on the back of it, use it as a cart. Uh, it's, it's got multiple uh, uses on this this piece of equipment. Coming up next, we have a 14-inch foot lift plow from Nervlin KV Bottom. The bottom options are Oliver John Deere or KB Bottom Keystone. This plow comes from uh, Pioneer Equipment. Features are hands-free operation, raise and lower the bottom with spring assist foot pedal. Tongue turns front and rear barrel wheel for better control. KB Bottoms excel in clay, muck type soil. The extra long mold board with slow, slow twist offers a smooth, continuous furrow instead of the buckle or tearing of the often experienced inside. KV bottom parts have a special heat treated and last four or six times longer than conventional parts. Another piece of equipment from Pioneer Equipment called the Homesteader with disc. Uh, attachments you can put on a plow, arrow, disc, hiller, cultivator, or potato plow. There's multiple attachments you can put onto this piece of equipment. Uh, they got a bunch of different ones on the inside. It's at their information booth. But this particular one is, has got the disc on it. Uh, perfect solution for small landowners and farmers, five acres or less. Ideal transport disc for the greenhouse or smaller er or small areas. Easily switch attachments without tools. There's just pins that you can pull to attach from one uh, piece of equipment to the other one. Toolbar in front of axle allows attachment to turn with the horses and provides better visibility for the driver. 
pitch draft or half liter size horses. Coming up next, we have a, a Cullimalcher from Shipsy Farm Supply. Uh, three foot garden style, this shaft. Uh, retails for $1,900. Safety platform. Um, then they have a safety uh, platform on the back of it too, so that that you don't step on the uh, uh, roll, the color, the color monster roller. Chipsy, Chipsy Farm Supply is the uh, dealer and manufacturer. They have four foot, six, five foot, six foot, eight foot, and twelve foot models available. But this is just for the smaller garden or the produce, smaller produce grower. This color monster. Um, Levels the ground, uh, Colomages plots uh, very well um, in adverse conditions. They are, they are very steel heavy and we will pulverize the soil very well. You got another piece of equipment from Shipshi, uh, the Shipshi Colomosher. It's, it's the same style as that just was through here, but it's just wider. It's uh, six foot wide instead of a three foot wide. Uh, the price of this one is uh, $2,538. Uh, also from Shipshi Farm Supply. Uh, other than that, it's basically the same thing as the other one. It does, I see now it does not have that extra shield on the back, but it would probably be available if you would request it. Uh, coming up, we have um, six foot Colomalger from Pioneer Equipment. They also have six foot, eight foot, or ten foot models available. Um, these color monsters, part of their unique, um, part of them is to save trips across the field. Um, it also has um, swivel in the front for um, to, to turn on the end so it doesn't drag. Tongue provided so that if you come out onto the stone drive or up by the buildings on a hill, you, the, the color monitor doesn't run into the horses. Um, tines raise and lower vertical way instead of circular motion for accurate performance at any depth. Operation, operator's platform for safety is in the back instead of uh, in the middle or in front of the color monitor. Uh, this is a draft four cart from uh, Easy Trail, uh, model number 1101 four cart with a tongue. Uh, the local dealer is uh, M&R Welding uh, from LaGrange or Camden Farm from Camden, Michigan. Uh, there's also um, other models and sizes available. And uh, they do have a booth on the inside if you want to check with them. Uh, Joe Schrock is the, dri the driver on this one. Uh, and the, the fertilizer spreader uh, is a, uh, a model STKS 300P plastic uh, spreader trailer. Uh, the cost of this one is $1,725 with a discount today. Uh, manufacturer is also Easy Trail with the same uh, dealers, MR Welding from LaGrange or Camden Farm from uh, uh, Michigan. And they, they do also have other sizes available of this fertilizer spreader. This is a good piece of equipment to use to spread fertilizer before you plant or put something in the soil or even after, you, uh, even in hay fields or anything like that would probably work pretty good. Next, coming up next, we have the ultimate plastic mulch layer. Um, model number 1745 ultimate layer with, with shovel holder and roll carrier. That roll carrier is, you can put an extra roll of plastic on top of the uh, plastic layer there. Um, the cost is $2,800. Easy Trail is the manufacturer. The local dealers, m and Welding, LaGrange, and Camden, Michigan, Camden Farms. Uh, Camden, Michigan, Camden Farms is the dealer. Um, this plastic layer also has the uh, drum bed shaper, which makes it uh, Pull easier than the uh, uh, bed shaper that, that they used to put on the drug the ground. That was a flat bed shaper. This this type of plastic layer also uh, does not have near as much side draft. They stay straighter in the row. If you're on hilly ground or if you come into the farrow or the middle of the field or whatever, 
they stay stay straight. They don't fishtail as much in the back. This model also has a fertilizer spreader on to put your, um, in the front there, put your fertilizer right under the plastic, just like the corn rows or whatever, right by your row. Uh, the carts, uh, heavy duty four cart from uh, model number 1105 with guarded tongue and cap, also from Easy, Easy Trail, uh, retails for 683. $683. This one is a uh, flatbed mulch layer, uh, pull type. This one is from uh, Nolt Produce Supply, Produce Supply from Leola, Pennsylvania. Model number SL4300, lays four or three foot plastic. Uh, the cost of this one is $1,475. Uh, with R&M Produce Supplies as your local dealer. Coming up next, we have a water wheel transplanter from uh, Nolts Produce Supplies, Leo to PA, uh, model number P1500, pull type, 150 gallon tank. They also have models with 85 gallon tanks, model number P850. Uh, that one retails for $1,440. The, this one is $1,885. Um, they also have a unique uh, transplanter wheel on, water wheel on the transplanter. You can adjust the uh, hole spacing. I guess it has a dip, uh, almost 40 different uh, hole spacing. You can, a lot, of, a lot of them have one foot, 18 inch, or two foot, or three foot. This one, I guess you can adjust to a lot of sizes in between with the holes right there in the wheel. The other uh, transplants, you'd have to have three different wheels. This one, you can do it with just a one wheel, just changing the uh, spokes there on the wheel. The uh, port cart is from Pioneer Equipment. Uh, new for 2016 produce cart, uh, draft or halflinger. Brakes are optional, you can put hydraulic hydraulic brakes on. They have a foot pedal steering on this one for produce field or when you're planting corn. Uh, the foot pedal uh, steering would be very helpful when you're hilly ground or anywhere because you can't turn, when you lay your plastic tight, you can't turn the horses at all. Into, if the ground is slanted, it would be very nice if you had steep steering on the cart. The cart also has a shovel holder and uh, a holder, you can put a holder on to put an extra uh, plastic, when you're laying plastic with the cart, you can put an extra roll of plastic on the, on the cart. Also this cart, you can put on toolbar for collating on each side of the plastic, just like the INJ collavator does, because you have the uh, foot pedal steering. Coming, coming up, we have, um, 150 gallon transplanter from uh, Easy Trail, uh, model number 1802, transplanter with a, a, a planter water wheel. Uh, these you can also get different spacings on the water wheel, but you have to buy a different water wheel for each spacing. Um, the neat, unique part about these transplanters and the water wheels is it puts water, you can mix fertilizer into it, it also spaces your holes all in one, uh, one pass across the field. Um, local dealer is MNR Welding, Lorraine, Indiana, Camden Farms, Camden, Michigan. The four cart is a uh, draft four cart from uh, Easy Trail. Retails for $628. The trans planner I didn't mention that is retails for $2,247. Uh, we got a one horse cultivator coming in uh, from Easy Trail Manufacturing. Uh, also available at MR Welding or Camden Farm. Uh, 3201 is the model with a five, five time cultivator. Uh, it retails for uh, $319. And they've also got a discount today. Uh, 
and the and the demo. Uh, the next uh, cultivator coming up is a garden cultivator from uh, Miller's Repair Shop, model MGR. Uh, retails for two hundred forty-five dollars. Uh, INJ Manufacturing is uh, the uh, uh, this, uh, the uh, builder of this cultivator. Uh, it's, you can get it at uh, Shipshi Farm Supply for your local dealer. Uh, IMJ Manufacturing is from uh, PA. They've also got a stand on the inside. The cost of this one is $1,850. Uh, they have more different uh, sizes available from one to six rows. Uh, this cultivator can be used also as a two row by simply adding a center gang for optional including roller shields disc killing and other tools to take off weeds in the row. Uh, they've got a bunch of different options that you can uh, use on this cultivator uh, and they build them up to six rows. Um, I really like this one when uh, when we were doing produce. Uh, you can, if you set them right, you can do a good job of cultivating that you've got very little weeding to do in between the plastic rows. Uh, you can adjust them uh, if you, if you uh, have vine, vine traps or something about six foot apart uh, in the rows, you can adjust them, uh, the center gang to off to the side that you can cultivate the vine crops and have very little uh, weeding to do uh, in the vine crops without plastic. The next, the next one coming up is a uh, two row corn cultivator, although they they set this one up for uh, flat plastic, cultivating plastic. Um, the model number is MTRS Produce Cultivator. The, the manufacturer is Miller's Repair Shop. Uh, comments on this, uh, this one doesn't have no weight on the tongue for the horses. Uh, optional sliding seat. Also, uh, this cultivator has got two wheels in the back uh, for, to spread across the strips so that the wheel doesn't go over the plastic. If you're cultivating corn, you take the bar out and you put one wheel in the back to cultivate corn. This model also, if you set those times right and have them in the right place, you can cultivate in the plastic, between the plastic mixes with very little holes. We got another uh, walking cultivator from Pioneer Equipment. Uh, rigid times or consistent wheel with uh, wheat removal. True line of grass to keep cultivators in the ground. Uh, adjustable gauge wheel and hitch pin point without tools. Uh, you can and adjust that front wheel without any tools if I understand that right. Uh, hand lever with adjustment. You can adjust, adjust the width uh, with that little hand lever uh, in between the cultivator bags. Coming up next, we have an ING five time walk behind garden cultivator. Um, this one also um, available from uh, ING. Various dealers in US, Canada, or Europe. You, uh, we have also have options of three time or five time cultivators. Um, this retails for $363. Uh, effective tool, you can adjustable from 12 inch to 30 inch wide. This is the home center again from Pioneer Equipment. Uh, the same one we had in here towards the, front, the first hand right after the plows. Uh, this one has got the cultivator tines on it now. Uh, it's got uh, shields available, roller shields to put in between the cultivator there for to plant small crops. Uh, again, this is this has got a bunch of different uh, tools you can put on with it. Uh, it's it's uh, made by Pioneer Equipment. Uh, you can put on a plow, a harrow, a disc, a hiller, a cultivator, which what you which what, what you're seeing here, uh, a bit, potato plow. Uh, all these options are uh, optional, and they are very easily to adjust by just putting some pins, taking some pins out underneath there, and adjust it from one piece to the next. Coming up next, we have the. Uh, one more stool frame again, uh, model number 100. Basic unit retails for $8.95. Um, optional double two-inch tool bar. Uh, manufactures one-horse machinery. Um, 
uh, guy in the back of the uh, elevator is, is Leroy Kine. Uh, he is the manufacturer and seller of the uh, piece of equipment. Optional, this, this uh, tool frame also, you, you can put a bunch of different attachments on it. It's designed for the smaller garden, so you can buy, uh, buy one, one tool and then put different option, attachments onto it. Uh, we, we've got another cultivator coming from INJ. This is the one horse riding cultivator uh, that you can use for uh, to cultivate in between plastic rows. It's great for larger truck patches and need only one operator. Uh, you can sit on the on behind on the cultivator, uh, drive the horse, and, and have your hands free to, to take care of the horse instead of trying to keep the cultivator in between the rows. Uh, a three-foot roller is also available to tow behind or to use as a color motion. Uh, you can also put a three-foot roller behind this one. Uh, this one sells for $710 uh, on the, in the booth on the inside uh, with various dealers throughout U.S., Canada, and Europe. They have different models available. The five-time and the three-time cultivator are also available, but those are walk-behinds. Coming up next, we have uh, Iva man manufactured 55 gallon produce sprayer. <laughs> 55 SBL. The cost is 2,800. Uh, local dealer and shipping farm supply. They have models up to a thousand gallon tank, and 70 foot beads each. So um, this this sprayer uh, was probably designed to, to fit uh, the smaller grower. They used to have, I know this minor fact, used to have one that fitted right between the plastic also, but it was it almost tipped over if you hit a stone or stuff like that. This has a wheel on the other side so it doesn't tip as easy. Low pressure pump. Um, it's also made to raise the boom so you can go over sweet corn or uh, over tomato steaks. It's designed to raise and lower the tune as needed. Uh, the next piece of equipment is a one-horse mower uh, from ING uh, Manufacturing. A new inline one-horse ground-driven mower. Uh, it's a new, uh, new uh, piece of equipment. Uh, this is a demo unit uh, with the approximate price of uh, $2,950. Uh, I think they're just still experimenting a minute with it to see what they can get up or you know, come up with. Uh, contact your local dealer this fall for availability and price. Uh, we got the one horse tool tool frame on this one again. Uh, with uh, the basic unit is an $895 unit. Uh, manufactured from one horse manufacturing from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Uh, Leroy Kaim is Leroy Kaim is the owner and the manufacturer of this. He's standing right down here beside me. This is the handiest thing he's got on his farm. It works better with a little horse than it does with a tractor. Uh, the, the, uh, the piece of equipment that is behind it, that little uh, cart there, uh, is used, it has got a lot of different uses, you, uh, different things you can use it for. You can haul firewood. Uh, it's built to take the toughest uh, stuff on it that you want to put on there. Produce or you, it looks like if you, you could use it to pick sweet corn on or anything. It's a, it's a handy little dump cart. This program is available for purchase. To order your copy, please call 319 362 
3027 or visit www.ruralheritage.com. Rural Heritage is a bi-monthly magazine dedicated to draft animal farming and logging, as well as other aspects of our rich rural heritage. It is published by Mishka Press, which also offers a complete line of back-to-the-land books, DVDs, and calendars. Call or write for a catalog or subscription information, or visit our website at www.ruralheritage.com.